In today's video, we're going to take a look at the role that enzymes play in digestion, and at how bile helps by neutralizing acids and emulsifying fats. As you might have seen in our previous video on digestion, enzymes are essential for helping us break down the large molecules that we eat into the most smaller soluble molecules that we can absorb through our intestinal lining. Now, the three main groups of nutrients that we're going to have to break down are carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. And for the sake of exams, you need to know which enzymes are responsible for breaking each of these groups down and which products they're going to be broken down into. Carbohydrates are found mainly in foods like pasta, potatoes, and rice, and our body uses them mainly as an energy source. The main type of carbohydrate is starch, and it's broken down by an enzyme called amylase into smaller sugars such as maltose. Now, amylase is made in three different places, the salivary glands of the mouth, the pancreas, and the small intestine. But in all cases, it acts to break down starch. Proteins, on the other hand, which are found in things like nuts, meats, and beans, are broken down by protease enzymes into amino acids. Just like amylase, proteases are also made in three places. This time the stomach, where we call it pepsin, and similarly to amylase, also in the pancreas and the small intestine. And finally, we have fats, which we sometimes call lipids. We find lipids in foods like cheese, oils, and chocolate, and they're broken down by lipases into both glycerol and fatty acids. These lipase enzymes are only produced in the pancreas and small intestine. Though. Now, if you think it's going to be difficult to remember where each enzyme is made, just remember that all of them are made by the pancreas and the small intestine, with amylase also being made by salivary glands and proteases also being made in the stomach. And that's all you need to know about digestive enzymes. If you found this video useful, then give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.